Hi, I'm Shelly from FaithX, helping you connect your faith and your business with confidence. Today I'm talking about um, not doing everything alone or not trying to make everything happen all by yourself because um, really we're not meant to be good at everything and it's something that's really hard to learn. So recently I was working on a project and um, I was kind of getting a little overwhelmed and stressed out about you know, trying to figure everything out. And my friend, um, who's known me for a really long time, she suggested that I get more people involved because she thought that um, I was not quite a little in over my head, but a little bit in over my head in the sense that I wasn't skilled at everything I was trying to do. So I was wasting a lot of time. Um, it was overwhelming me because I had this huge list of tasks that I'm not necessarily, um, you know, it, how do I explain this? I'm not necessarily like naturally good at, they don't, they don't just flow. So things have a lot more friction, right? If it was something I'm naturally good at, a lot of tasks that I'm naturally good at don't take as much energy and attention as things that I'm like have to struggle to really get together. Um, so I ended up asking a couple of people if they would be willing to help. And already, like we haven't had a meeting to discuss what that's gonna look like, but already I feel like, oh, hey, the burden is off of me alone and I have other people to share this with. Um, so in terms of business, uh, thinking through where can we get our support from, um, and I'm not talking about like, yes, we need to rely on God and not our own strength, that's definitely the case. But we were made with different skills and different interests and just as different people. And uh, when we're trying to just be everything by ourselves, that doesn't really work out. So how can you get more people involved and really show that we can work together? I mean, both as the body of Christ, right? Like if you're working with other Christians, um, that would that would almost be an expression of how, like, how can we work together? How can we show that we have all these different things that we're good at and that we're working together to, for one purpose, right? Um, but if, even if you're working with non-Christians, you can still show them the light and show them support and shine with your skills in the way that God's made you because then you're operating in your gifts and your talents rather than trying so hard to do everything possible and everything required for your business. Um, so you can get support from your family, from your friends, from your professional network. Um, so support may be that you have to just get extra people involved, um, having somebody that's willing to tell you that, like somebody kind of like keeps you, keeps you humble, keeps you like aware of what's going on. Cause I think as entrepreneurs, we can kind of get like stuck in our little loop of our own world. Um, all these tasks that we have to do. And then when we're still talking with other people, like we're still in that, right. It's really hard to get out of that thinking. Um, but you can also just go like that's as far as like social support. Sometimes that gives you other skilled support, but if you do need skilled support, don't be afraid to get it. Um, outsourcing or trading is a really great opportunity. Um, it can save you a lot of time and it can save you a lot of effort so that you can focus on the things that you want to do um, or that is really best for you to be doing. And like I said, people have different skills. So um, you saying that you can't do something or that you choose not to do something isn't a failure on your part. It's actually a chance for someone else to get to do something that they really love doing and something that they are gifted in doing. And so I, I don't really think that, you know, it's like, oh man, I couldn't do it. I couldn't hold it together. I have to do this thing. And like, I have to ask for help. It's that it comes from a place of being aware of who you are and who God's made you to be and the skills that he has in you and that you'd like to develop um, and using those wisely and stewarding your time in a way that is helpful and, um, you know, really efficient because you don't want to be wasting a bunch of time. Time is a resource as well. Like we wouldn't just be wasting a bunch of money, um, on something that doesn't matter for our business or we really shouldn't be. So why are we willing to do that for time? Right? So let's, let's, uh, get help when we need it. And, um, start learning what our skills and 
talents are so that we can operate in that area really well and get support from people who operate in the other areas that maybe we're not as good at. So um, let me know in the comments, what are some of the things that you are really skilled at? What are some of the things that it just comes so naturally to you? And then um, have you ever considered outsourcing or getting help or support even from friends for things that you're not as good at? So things that maybe you are a little struggling with or something like that, let me know, um, you know, what was your experience if you've already tried it or if you're thinking about it, you know, maybe what are some things that you're thinking about doing? And then be sure to subscribe for weekly videos on how to connect your faith and your business with confidence. And uh, sneak information, sneak preview, whatever. Um, I'm starting to film a, uh, an interview series with Christian entrepreneurs. Um, it's going to be called Sword and Savvy, and the name comes from Hebrews, which talks about the Bible being a double-edged sword. And savvy is from the business uh, side of things where you need business savvy, really, to, to do your job and to do the things that God has called you to do in your business. So uh, keep an eye out for that. That's going to be exciting. That's launching this year. And um, so I'm interviewing yeah, lots of different entrepreneurs, uh, Christian entrepreneurs, who are very excited to share their experience, um, how their faith impacts their entrepreneurs. Uh, how their faith impacts their lives as entrepreneurs and how their lives as entrepreneurs impacts their faith. So I'm very excited about that. The interviews I've done so far have gone really well, tons of information. You will love it. So be sure to subscribe to stay updated on that. Thanks. And I'll see you next week.